Hey everybody, what's happening? You're watching Press Start TV here at E3. You got Will and Gage here with Zach Frissinger, project lead for Disney 3.0. Zach, um, how are things going so far for you at the show? What's the crowd response been? We've had a really good response so far. People have come over, they've been asking a lot of questions. We've been getting a lot of great feedback for each of the areas that we have featured today. So let's talk about Disney 3.0. I know obviously you got the Star Wars figures. Tell us a little bit about what players can expect from this. So we can, you can expect a remodeling of the play sets this year. This is kind of like the revolution of the play sets. So this year we're featuring three different play sets. We have uh, Twilight of the Republic, and that's more combat focused. Ninja Theory helped us out with the combat on that one. So you're able to go through with all the different characters that use lightsabers and toss them up in the air and start juggling them. All around. the Star Wars stuff you can do. Essentially, yes. Things and then, you can do with real toys. <laughs> yeah. And then we have Rise Against the Empire, which essentially is based off of episodes four through six. And this is more flight based, where you're actually going to get to recreate key battles from episodes four through six, like the Battle of Yavin. And then we have Inside Out. Inside Out is more of an isometric mesh 2D, 3D platformer that you can go through and it gets really challenging. It has a ton of puzzles and it is very family friendly. Are there any gameplay differences between 2.0 previous installments and this one? Yes, uh, the combat of course is the first where um, the combat has been upgraded for all characters along with all the skill trees. So now you're able to do more with the skill trees and more building up your character. Um, also with the toy box mode, we've included more tutorials that allow the players more of a chance to be able to build their own worlds with all the tools right in front of them. I know I'm personally excited when, when I saw the announcement of Boba Fett as a character, that really made me happy, so thank you. <laughs> Gage? Well, now we can give Boba Fett the right send-off he really deserves. That's right, right. that's right. Uh, but again, I wanted to talk about Toy Box a little more. Uh, I haven't seen much of it yet. Uh, so how are we changing Toy Box this time around? You said the more tutorials, but what else are we bringing to Toy Box, if anything? So there is a farming aspect. So now um, the sidekicks that you use in Affinity 2.0 are actually becoming more interactive, where they become interactive people that you actually can level up and nurture and feed. And then they can actually put on little hats and go farming for you. Oh, cool. Hats are the best thing in games. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Definitely. And they put down farm plots, and you can have carrots, and it produces bonuses and experience and Easter eggs and all sorts of things for inside the toy box. The toy box is just getting deeper and deeper every year, basically. Yes. Toy the box continues to grow, the interiors continue to grow, um, the environment itself, and plus it will be a lot easier for users this year to understand how to use it. Gotcha. One of my favorite things to ask is definitely what someone, who's, someone who's worked on the game, what their favorite part of the game is. So what's your favorite part of Disney 3.0? Technically, and it's been this way since 2.0, I love the interiors. I love being able to build a house and put down couches and rugs. It's just a great time for me. <laughs> so do you want to be a home designer sometimes? Like, I don't understand. Are you the right area? With yeah, I, I honestly, that's just, I, I latched right onto it. And I just sit there, and I can sit there for hours and decorate a house. Well, I'm really excited for 3.0. You know, I love Star Wars. I saw my boy Darth Maul run around here, so I can't wait to try him out. Will, do you have anything else for Zach? Zach, who's your favorite character? My favorite character, honestly, in the 3.0 series would be Minnie Mouse. Minnie Mouse, why is that? I love the fact that she can throw her purse at people. Oh, it's, that's awesome. She's cute. She's cute. I mean, that's just ideal combat situations, of course. Yeah, <laughs> most definitely. Zach, um, I mean, is there anything, uh, what's, the, what's the, the, the biggest thing you can tell us if you're going to get somebody interested that hasn't played Disney um, in Infinity before, what's the number one thing you could tell them? Honestly, I can say that Disney Infinity is its own platform and it's based on family fun, and we want to get the family involved. We want everybody to be able to join in on this. Um, the starter pack launches with two characters, so it's automatically co-op from the very beginning. So it's important to understand that this is not, not just for age groups, it's for everyone and all families. And what is the release date again? The release date is fall 2015. Excellent, excellent. Well, Zach, thank you so much for joining us. We thank really you. appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Guys, it. keep it here on Press Start TV. We'll have more Disney Infinity for you soon.